Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Montano, and I want you to join me as I embark on a journey to learn more about exceptional, intersectional human beings on every level, in every way. And this is just how I'm keeping track. We are on our way to USF for practice. It's Monday. Um, Mondays are earlier mornings with the team. So 7.45, we'll do some exercises and a run. Uh, the plan is for a workout tomorrow. Um, and so yeah, today's just kind of running with the girls and um, getting in the gym, doing some activation. And, uh, and then I'll have another run this evening. Just, you know, run, eat, rest, repeat. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's my Monday morning. Welcome, I'm Alicia Montano and this is Keeping Track. I am honored to welcome our first guest to the show as we celebrate Women's History Month. She is a three-time Olympian, two-time American record holder, world record holder, world bronze medalist, and badass mother runner, to just name a few. Shannon gave birth to daughter Sienna on June 30th of 2018, and she strategically stayed fit and mentally engaged in sport while simultaneously enjoying her pregnancy. Who knew a woman could be a full human while growing a human? During her pregnancy, she also did race, mainly on the roads, but this time she got to take a mental break from trying to win all the time. But guess what? She was winning at life. Everybody, I'd love to welcome to the show, Shannon Robery Solaris. Everybody, we have Shannon <laughs> Solaris Robery. Hi. Nice to see you. <laughs> Hello. So I just listed some things to our viewers that were very, very track oriented. Mm -hmm. What would surprise our viewers to um, hear about you? So let's see, Irish dancing, that's a fun one. That's a good story uh, I get to share a lot, which is that I actually started out as an Irish dancer. I broke my leg in kindergarten um, and my grandma, who's all Irish, mm -hmm decided she'd put me in dance to strengthen my bones, and I just Grand. fell in love. Um, yeah. I did ballet first, but Irish dancing has a competitive aspect, um, and I really liked the competition. Uh, I'm a fifth generation San Franciscan, mm -hmm. uh, so that's another fun fact. And of course, I um, my newest thing that I've added to the being a unique athlete combo thing is motherhood, which has been, you know, you've got yes. two. Um, I've been learning from you and it has been quite the wild ride, but um, yeah, so seven months uh, oh ago, gosh, had a little baby, baby girl. Sienna, baby seven Sienna. months already. So you've obviously had to see some similarities within pursuing excellence in sport and pursuing excellence in motherhood. Yes. So like, what are some ways you see those two like coming together? Where do they yeah. converge? Uh, well, luckily I had women like you before me who I could kind of watch and learn from and um, I am very much the type of athlete that was, especially at the beginning of my career, type A, mm -hmm. that's my kind of personality, really wanted to try to control everything. And I came to realize throughout this 12 year career that there's a lot um, that you can't control. Yeah. And so kind of the arts and science. And and so I, um, as, as a mother, it's been the same thing where, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of things you have to research yeah. and you wanna get the right things for your baby but then every day is unpredictable. And, um, you know, kind of my favorite um, analogy, my favorite analogy for track running, for racing is um, kind of ties to my studies in college. I was English and theater major and I did some improv work and it was, you know, you think with improv that it's all just of the moment, mm. but there's so much preparation that goes on behind um, the scenes in, in advance to prepare those reflexes and, um, professional athletics, competition, and motherhood, it seems are very similar, yeah. where you do so much work behind the scenes to prepare, but then once it comes time, to, um, like once you know the show begins, you just have to be in the moment and react. That's so. true, and it also helps hone in on your multitasking skills. Yeah. <laughs> yes. so, but you, uh, you have help too. Mm -hmm. So like, what yes. are the ways that you do like use the help, but also like mm -hmm. get your multitasking done? Like, yeah. you know. Yeah, well, so, 
Um, let's see. On it, well, while I was pregnant, I had the support of my team, my Nike team, mm -hmm. the Oregon Project, um, and uh, pelvic floor, floor PT specialist, oh, so Jess important. Dorrington. Yeah. So I really relied on those people to kind of, um, you know, help me achieve more than I could have by myself. So yeah. trusting the experts. Um, and now with my baby, I moved back home, which mm -hmm. um, I was in Portland, but back home in San Francisco now, and I really rely on my family a lot. So family I get so important. Yeah. yeah. So I um, and they've been a huge help in watching Sienna and yeah. my husband, of course, Pablo. He's a great dad, um, and uh, just very you know similar too with with athletics. It takes a team yes. for success, yes. and oh my gosh, it takes even stronger of a team for yes. for a family. And I'm sure even now too, you probably add some more interesting stories to the mix. Can yeah. you tell us like some some funny stories or something that may have like, that might interest our audience <laughs> and just like your stories in motherhood and like yeah. other, you know. Yeah, oh my gosh. Um, the first month of having a baby was just such highs and lows. Yeah. I always tell people I cried multiple times a day and one of the times would be out of just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what have I done? Like, <laughs> like, like literally yeah. like this is forever. Oh my yes. gosh. And, um, and then the other times would be like, I love you so much. Yes. Like yeah. it was crazy. It was the so hormones incredible. and yeah. like the fatigue and, um, uh, you can't even like, prepare for the hormones unless you're in it. It's so true. It's just like all over the place. Yeah. It was, it was wild. And, and, um, uh, I think like, you know, but trying to find humor in the, yes. like, just how overwhelming it all is. Yes. And like, like I would be like crying and like laughing at myself crying, yes. but like, or telling my husband, Pablo, like, I know I'm being crazy, but yes. like, you know, I, so I know. <laughs> yeah. So that was, so, um, I think, you know, one of the funny slap happy moments was like the middle of the night in that first month. And you know, you're when they're, the babies are that young, they're, you know, eating and pooping all the time. Yeah. And at one point, you know, where Pablo was trying to change her diaper. She decides to just like poop everywhere. I'm like, <laughs> like just thinks it's the funniest thing. My poor husband is like, can you please help me here? Yeah. And, and, you're just and it was just about like it. probably 3 a.m. At, at that time too. And you know, the, those moments where you're just like, wow, okay, this is a whole new that life I've gotten me. into. Same thing happened with Lou. Like when we first brought home yeah. Linnea. Yeah pulling back her like legs to like what and then she literally just shot poop on the <laughs> yeah. wall we're like you're like i really love yeah, you like because good. if this can be funny and not even a problem like this is true love yes <laughs> and like you with your partner too you know you know you've picked the right the right person when you can be like cleaning up your yeah. baby's poop laughing about it and yes. just you know feeling grateful for it yes, too for sure. so, all at the same time yeah we've so, known each other for a really long time yes <laughs> we've had our own poop stories without kids yeah. sorry guys you yeah. need to know that but i mean even more there's more stuff i'd just love to connect the audience to yeah. you about like you are of course, you know, you're a badass Shannon Murray. People will see you out uh, on the track. I was like, what is it called? People see you out on <laughs> the track thing. and you sh you come in, with, we come in with a persona. It's yeah. like that Sasha Fierce, you know, yeah. you come in and you're ready to just like shred heads. Yeah. And that's what, the, that's what you're supposed to do. That's yeah. how you get it done. But there's this other side of Shannon that was so silly and light. I remember yeah. we would talk to like, do that one kid voice forever. Yeah. Be like, um, so today we have to, and that was like one of my favorite memories. <laughs> we're roommates, yeah. Roommates we got a 2010 season, like yes. you were busting on the scene. Yeah. You'd been, I remember us meeting and, or connecting. I mean, we're both California runners. Yeah. We both ran the 800. You still run the 800. Um, forever. I was, uh, what, two, three years ahead of you? Yeah. So, um, maybe more anyway, but like being, but it was really, I remember you texted me while I was injured in 2007 because you had had a really great outdoor season mm. um, and I remember connecting with you then but really connecting with you in 2010 when we were roommates and I was your roommate in Monaco when you won and ran was it 157 yeah. yeah yeah and um, and then like as you met your husband and yeah. were, well you knew Lou for a while but like falling in love and we were in Croatia together for uh, Continental, Continental Cup, Cup. And oh my god I was your bridesmaid you were yes. my bridesmaid yes. so 
So, um, yeah, we go back. <laughs> we go oh, back way, way back. Actually, the first time I remember, <laughs> yeah, I texted you after that season because 2006, we both made the under 23 Oh, team. that's what Where I remember. Where was it? Um, Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. And I remember there was the cat, there was little cats that yes! would like come into breakfast yes! and you you were feeding Feed one the chicken cat. and then there was the discoteca. Oh and my like... gosh. I have to see if I can find <laughs> photos from that. I totally, that oh, was yeah. when Facebook like was more prominent yeah, in our yeah. IG. But that was my first one, memory. Yes. And so after that, I remember keeping up and I actually, even looking further back, it's just so funny where life takes you because yeah, you were a couple years older than me, but there was, I think it was like my first year on the scene in just like the 800 in high school. Yeah. And you'd won it. Yeah. You, oh, okay. My junior at, year. Yeah, yeah. Your junior year. And yeah. I think it was my freshman year. Yeah. And I'm like just looking at pictures and there's like this, oh, I'm coming. Like, yeah. like I'm, I'm way in the back. <laughs> yeah. But it's, like this, it's just so interesting because I didn't know you at yeah. that time. Yeah. And the people and who then around. Mm -hmm. like become a part of your life. Yeah. 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 That so is, that's really, that's really awesome. And I'm just really grateful to Nack have you. And, yes. Oh boy. That was a fun trip. That was a fun <laughs> that trip. That was a trip when I was like, if we get to do things like this, even like once a oh, year, yeah. I want to be a professional yeah. runner. Yes, I'm yeah. going to be a pro runner. I want to run the Yes team yeah. all the time. Yeah, we had so much fun. So many cool people. Yeah, yeah it was really fun. Yeah. Um, but also, just furthermore, you know, there's more that you're doing. Like, I want to know, like, mm -hmm. what what else? Yeah. Like, tell us about what's going on the rest of 2018, but yeah. also, like, outside of that. Yeah. So, moving back to San Francisco full time in 2017 when I found out I was pregnant, um, trying to really set down roots here. So um, I'm a volunteer assistant coach at USF right now, which it has been fun, um, you know, kind of getting to share some of my wisdom with these mm -hmm. young women and men. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of, you don't realize what you know until you start having those conversations yeah. or you get asked those questions. And it, you know, it's it feels nice to be able to give back. Um, and my husband and I have a nonprofit called Imagining More that we started in 2012 that's, um, uh, Meant, meant to encourage young women in sports. And so we've done a couple projects where we've had girls do uh, an art artwork about what it is to be an, a woman in sports, but um, and given them a small scholarship. And we're hoping to expand that now that we're back, you know, feet on the ground in San Francisco full time. Um, and uh, still, com still competing, uh, mm. still with Nike. Um, I'm very grateful for that. Uh, for that sponsorship and for you know their support of me throughout pregnancy mm -hmm. because there aren't really great to be a woman athlete mm -hmm. and to be pregnant is something that is kind of uncharted territory yeah. ter territory there are more and more women who have chosen to have children throughout their running mm -hmm. or athletic career and come back but um there certainly aren't protections for yes, it so yeah. that was that was um that was scary mm -hmm. as a as a pregnant athlete, and I've been grateful for the support and uh, and yeah, so I'm back training full time. Yeah. It was like yeah, uh, oh my getting gosh. going like again, getting, like, like really am I rough. A baby deer, do my legs actually? Oh work? my like, gosh, I, yes. Like yeah. I felt like I'd been on riding a horse across <laughs> America for yeah. like those last nine months when I tried to like start running again. It was just like whoa. Yeah. <laughs> um, but when did uh, you start to kind of feel like yourself running again? Oh, I want to say like just in general postpartum. One month mark was a low point. Mm -hmm. Two months was like like the baby starts to smile and you maybe get some sleep. Mm -hmm. And like, I started running then, um, I took two months of just like walking and exercises mm -hmm. and, um, four months I was like, okay, I'm still underwater, but I can see, like, I can see the surface mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, I'd say like the six month mark postpartum. So yeah. four months back into running, yeah. I started to feel like, okay, I think there's like, like, I still don't feel like I've got this but mm -hmm. like I felt like I could get into more of a routine Which and is, feel like me again yeah it's and, just crazy that you said I don't feel like I've got this because six months postpartum you yeah. went into a race situation yeah. <laughs> and you ended up running the second fastest time in yeah. the world At the, yeah I mean it wasn't a it was beat later but obviously but um but it was a good time and yeah uh you know I had that was a 3k I did kind of can last you guys minute. run nine minutes and <laughs> two seconds in a 3k okay so she's like it was so that was a happy surprise yeah. I went and did cross-country nationals that was a 
much more of a challenge than I expected. Yeah. Um, I had hoped to be top six. I was 22nd. Mm -hmm. It was a really deep field. Like last year, if I'd done the race, um, my mom was trying to pump me up. She's like, if you'd done the race last year with the same time, you would have been eighth. Yes. So job, that was mom. kind of when I set that, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was when I set the goal of, of US Cross Country Nationals. I was kind of basing it off of like, okay, if this is what they did last year, like this should be a good competition mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. me. It was tough. Like it was yeah. hard to be in a race and you know, I've been blessed. There haven't been a lot of times when I've been that far back yeah. and um, it was tough to like even just commit to finishing it yeah. knowing that I wasn't going to be anywhere near the leaders. Yeah. Um, but training in general has been good. Yeah. Uh, running, getting to go out for a run is actually probably the main thing that's helped me find me again. Mm -hmm. You know, like I don't run with totally. Sienna. Um, much sometimes Pablo and I will run together and he'll push her but for me the runs are like a chance to just have 30 minutes an hour of yeah. like me time mm -hmm. which has been helpful yeah and uh and yeah so that I I got on a tangent but I am training I am um getting ready for the outdoor season yeah the goal is to compete at U.S. Nationals and to qualify and compete at world championships awesome. which are late this year which is great for me. Yes, yeah. Um, so uh, October worlds are in Doha. So the goal is to make that team. Oh my gosh. Doha. Yeah, that's where so. I listened to that It's great. You'll have a good time. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to be able to just kind of talk about something that you touched on really quick. And yeah. I just think it's so important that you did have that support postpartum yeah. because I think there's this stigma behind a woman athlete becoming pregnant and never being able to be like the athlete that she once was like, yeah. I don't even know why we want to be who we were before. <laughs> yeah. But second of all, I, from my experience, what I understand is, you know, if that support, especially financial support, is taken away from us, there's no way that we're able to support this yeah. family that we just started. Yeah. You know, yeah. From a physical aspect, I do think we, we gained so much strength, not yeah. just physically, but mentally, yeah. the way we see things. And yeah. I actually think that it does make us a better athlete. But we can't hone we can't hone in on those skills if we're not allowed the if opportunity. If we're scrambling for to support ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah, and our so that like that I'm just that's so awesome and I want it is, people yeah. to just understand that message and also you know I think outside of sport yeah. that there are women who are in their jobs and they're afraid to you know expand their family or yeah. um, start their family because you know they're trying to establish themselves within their job and if they're missing for you know what three months or however yeah. long you know yeah. hopefully they can eek out three months from maternity yeah. leave um, you know how are their employer is going to see them, you yeah. know, if in, in a missing space. So, yeah. um, it's just important to kind of just connect that and to talk more about that and openly yeah. about that. And for people to recognize, I'm yeah. not, um, unable to get back into my field because yeah. I have a child. You need, I need the support though. Yeah. So anybody yeah. needs that support. So that's really important. I think even in, in my pregnancy, it's like one of the things that really irked me was that you know, the coverage that I did get was mm -hmm. from a disability, that maternity mm -hmm. is not its own thing, that maternity is a disability. And mm -hmm. I think that in and of itself speaks to the challenges that we have yeah. as moms who also love our jobs and want to continue doing yeah. them um, after. And uh, person. yeah, and the idea that, you know, I could be creating, growing a person and that is, yes, there are certain things that I can't do at the same level for a period of time, mm -hmm. but I would hardly call creating and growing a human a disability. Absolutely. And so You're I like hope more able. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope for the future that uh, we can, you know, maybe separate out pregnancy, maternity from disability and yeah. create its own category yeah. and where we can then really look at it and say, you know, what do our mothers need to have a healthy, safe pregnancy, mm -hmm. to care for their children after it mm -hmm. and have the opportunity to come back to work um, you know, I think if we give them that space and we respect that, you know, this is an important part of human existence, mm -hmm. um, I think that those women can then come back more motivated, better yeah, than ever. I agree. But I think that, yeah, we need to take some time to think about what, how to, how to do that properly because I don't think we currently are. Yeah. <laughs> and Shannon did do a great thing. She kind of helped with um, maternity leave legislation. Um, yeah, we together. The USOC, so. Or USATF. Um, USATF, yeah. and Health we're insurance. trying to get it, yeah, through with yeah, the USOC, so. so. Yeah, it was, that was something else, like, you know, realizing that I could have, luckily because of my Olympic qualification, my, my place at the Olympics, I was able to carry forward my mm -hmm. health benefits because mm -hmm. um, athletes, anyone who doesn't know, um, track and field athletes have to earn their health insurance every year. Yeah. And um, USATF didn't have any system in place to, you know, differentiate 
those athletes who had um, a pregnancy mm -hmm. and thus couldn't compete. Mm -hmm. And so I could have lost my health insurance. Luckily, I didn't. Um, but that kind of sparked this conversation of like, how can we make it better? And, and actually, I have to give major props to my coach, Pete, because mm -hmm. we had this conversation back in 2015 or 16. And um, he was the one who brought it up to Vin Lanana. Uh, like, I think maybe even, I think it was while I was pregnant, maybe, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who then, you know, was all about supporting it, suggested we connect with Rose, yeah. had those conversations with Rose Monday, who then she, she yeah. really got it done. Yep. But it took, but it, it all started with a coach who's a man mm -hmm. who saw the importance of of you know really advocating for something mm -hmm. like this mm -hmm. and then all the people along the way rose got a panel of women you were yep. totally on board mm -hmm. we all worked together to figure out you know what is something that we could propose to help our women athletes and usatf was totally on board with supporting it and so now you know the women in our sport who are pregnant will maintain the benefits of that tier category for I believe it's um, a year and a half yeah. postpart yep. postpartum yep. Mm -hmm. um, and perhaps longer if they have a more challenging pregnancy but like you shouldn't be worried about losing your health insurance yep. when you're pregnant yep. um, so you know it's small battles here and there but yeah. you know I feel like both you and I whatever that battle is whatever change we can affect that is something that um, I feel we owe to the next generation. Yes. Cause like I'm getting to do all these things right now because of all the women yeah. and men that went before me. Yeah. And so, you know, paying it forward. Exactly. Like so. paying it forward. That's so that's how we're going to do this. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just want to go back really quick with um, imagining more. It's one of the ways that you guys are paying it forward. Mm -hmm. Are you as great of an artist as, <laughs> Or you're not okay. No, let me not. No. Yes, 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 like, yes. These, mm -hmm. All these mm -hmm. like paintings <laughs> around the house are my husband. Right. I tell him my like vision of like, oh, this would be really cool. Yeah. And that's like you know a photo or a, I point at something and then he's super quick in his work too. And yes. like a few days later, he'll come out with these masterpieces and. Well, yeah, I think no. you might be a little bit better than you think you are. <laughs> so we're gonna test. One, your multitasking skills. Ooh. Okay. And your artist room. We're gonna see if you're able to c communicate art in the way that Pablo is. Okay. <laughs> but we're gonna take a quick break, everybody. We need to thank our sponsors, Need Hydration. We'll be back. Thank you. Welcome back to Keeping Track. We are now going to resume with our game portion. We are going to play Baby Pictionary with our guests, Shannon Robury Solaris. But we have another guest with us. We have Pablo Solaris, our artist himself. But we are going to see how well Shannon is able to communicate art in the way that Pablo does. But guess what? We are going to do it with them together. And we're going to see if they can make this beautiful art together the same way they made Baby Sienna here. <laughs> Who's gonna be helping us out as we play Pictionary? Baby Pictionary, you guys ready? Have a yeah. Oh uh, yeah, this is Sienna. Stand in. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't want to tape it uh, a paintbrush to Sienna's actual head, so this is you Baby know. Sienna today. Exactly. She's very, yeah. very, very cute. Not as cute as the real one. Oh, yes. But. Okay guys, so you know how to play Pictionary, right? Yes. Okay, so very quick for the audience, if you know how to play Pictionary, Google it. But I'm going to give you a quick gist. <laughs> they need to be able to look at this card, these cards here. They're going to have words on them. Shannon's going to pick. Pablo, you cannot look at the words. They have two minutes to see how many words that Shannon can convey through her art. Okay? Everybody, you ready to keep track? Let's go. Here we go. And go. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is not... No. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You can pass whenever you need oh, to. Pass. Mm -hmm. uh, can I just pass on all of them? <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, oh, maybe I could do this. Yes! This is great, Shannon. Question mark. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Come on, Pablo. Any guesses mm -hmm. here? Mm-mm. <laughs> it's a baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Is this uh, oh. uh, girl? 
Queen. <laughs> Made out of metal. It's so cute. Sienna's doing great. Yeah! I got a word! What is it? A robot. A robot! Uh, let's word. see. Um, uh, oh, oh, she made me do that. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, good job. We are at one minute down. We've got one more minute. Come on, Shannon. This. <laughs> the bow? And, um, Air bow? Mm mm. Butterfly? Mm mm. No, it's, it, the bow thing is good, but it's. It's uh, not on the head. Yeah! Oh, there we yes, go. I got two. Good job. We're, we're adding uh -oh. words to Pictionary, okay. but um, okay. it's all good. Uh, how does one draw storm mm -hmm. damage? Uh -oh. That's not going to happen. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, okay, guys, we're rolling down. Uh, About 30 seconds left. Come on, Shannon. Okay. It's time uh, to kick. I am just. They're just. These are. These are tough. Okay. Um, let's see. I, come on, Shannon. Got to pick one. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Um, the blue one. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, this Good job, 50 seconds, come on, let's okay. get the going. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh. Come on, Pablo, any guesses? <laughs> no, I mean, this is so a, I wouldn't guess this. what this is. Okay. Oh yeah. And then, Angel. Oh, no. five seconds, three, five. this is two. <laughs> Water go funnel. Uh, I don't know. Good how job. You guys got two of them. Um, <laughs> we got two. Well, if you guys were able to guess that as we played oh along, then gosh. congratulations. You get extra life points. Yeah. Shannon, Pablo, thank you guys so much. <laughs> that was so easy. Baby oh, Sienna. yeah. Totally. There's, there's baby Sienna. Okay, honey. Oh. I think it's time for her nap. Yeah. You guys, thank you so much for joining us, Shannon. <laughs> Bye, guys. It's time for us to go clean up. <laughs> <laughs> These are hard. Awesome. Let me see if like, I can do this. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Uh oh, sorry. Be yeah. clean. Be clean. Oh, oh yeah. Look at the quad work. Mm -hmm. It's about dipping low. Okay. okay.